if there was ever a time to say it, it doesn't get any better than this. I'm, I'm actually speechless. Good morning everybody and happy new year. So I've got a really exciting video from a location in Madeira in the mountains and I wanted to sort of share with you a really important thing that I do when I go to a new location and that is really try and concentrate on just a couple of spots. So I try and plan out maybe maybe seven or eight places that I'm gonna photograph when I go to a new location. But there's usually one or two that I think I really am gonna maximize my opportunity there. I'll go there maybe two, three, four times. And it is so important. And in this video, I wanna show you just why that is so important. So the first time that I went um, was just covered in, in cloud. I got there, there was a little glimpse of the mountains and then the cloud came down. I spent about two hours there, got soaking wet and couldn't see anything. But when I came back the second time, things were a little different. So we'll join me in the mountains for sunset. Okay, take two. And it's looking slightly more promising because there's a lot of blue sky above and I want to stay here until night and try and do some astro. But I've got to get a above this fog which I think I might be able to do in a minute it's just rolling over this hill and this sort of shoulder of a hill here it looks so spectacular <laughs> so exciting this really is but just like that it can change yesterday before I knew it I was just getting soaked so I'm hoping it's just going to stay about this height it's really strange because it's so much higher on this side than that side I can get above it and I can get some beautiful golden light and some mystical conditions on the top of this mountain in Madeira. <laughs> Let's hope. Well, not a bad spot for a little rest. Ooh. I think I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna be above the cloud. It's just, it's so clear. It's just gonna be a long wait, but there's no wind. It's really warm. I'm just gonna have a little sleep, I think. But about another, let me have a look. Another 100 meters to climb, so not very much. Let's go. So as I was setting my camera up, you could actually see the mountain behind me, but now it's gone. So cut to a bit of a time lapse whilst I'm talking, and you can see that it's just coming and going. And there's some dead trees down there that look good, but I'm, I'm hoping just around this corner, there's some more. I think from doing my research and looking online, I think there are. Um, and I've looked at Google Maps to try and get an idea as well. But I'm just going to go around there now and see, see what I can find. I think the clouds are coming higher at the moment. Fingers crossed it doesn't get any higher. Oh, this is so amazing. The clouds have mostly gone now, um, but they do keep coming and going, so I'm hoping Fingers crossed that they're, you know, they're, they're going to come again and then go again so I can get some shots whilst it's all enveloped in clouds. I've got some video and a couple of shots, so hopefully they'll be good. 
I've got a tree down here. You can probably just see it just there. And I've just isolated it and used the green, the gray, and the gray behind it of the cloud and the sun coming through. <laughs> it looks so good. It's quite a minimalist image, but I think, I think it's probably gonna be my, my best one so far this evening. Whether it'll get any better, I don't know, but it's a pretty good start. So I had my long lens on 70, it was actually the 70 millimeter end of that, so I could have used my 24 to 70, I suppose. Um, and then I just didn't really want that other dead tree into the right, I just wanted this dead tree down there. So yeah. So I found this tree here, which is just off the path actually. I think I've seen it in other photos, so I'm not surprised because it is spectacular. And what I've tried to do is frame it um, in the mountain that you can't any longer see anymore in the background so that none of the sort of tentacles go above the mountain in the background and then um, also make sure they don't touch anything. So it's just framed perfectly on its own. At the moment though, I've got such a huge dynamic range and I want to do a long exposure, it's quite difficult to manage. So I'm probably going to wait. Um, I don't think it's quite the right time and whilst I'm waiting I'll probably do some long exposures of just the cloud coming over the um, just through the gap over there. <laughs> it doesn't get better than this. <laughs> That's what that saying was made for. Oh my word. <laughs> Okay, the sun's gone down a little bit now and um, it's just catching some of the reflected light off the clouds up there, which is a little bit warmer, so that's quite nice on this side. But I've just figured out, and I probably should have figured this out before, but I think this is gonna be a better sunrise location because the sun's gonna, well, it's set behind this mountain and it's gonna cast nice light onto these hills here and probably light up the fog coming through. But in the morning, it's gonna come in through that valley and it'll light up the side of this and it'll look amazing. So it looks like an early morning because it's an hour and a half drive to get here and probably about half an hour walk. So sunrise is at eight. So that's six o'clock later, so half five. Yeah, so I'll probably get up at five. That's no, not too bad. <sighs> I just love the green and the grey, they go well together. Woohoo! I'm back at Pico Rubio and I'm going to hike up to the dead trees where I was last time um, because as, as I said that it just would be so much better at sunrise. Now the thing is you can probably see by my head torch that um, there's a little bit of fog and I don't know whether it's lifting a little bit hopefully we're going to stay above it because you can also probably see the stars um, it's really clear and what I'm hoping is to get some of the fog rolling over and um, with the dead trees and that beautiful morning light. So fingers crossed, it's my last morning. Hopefully you can get something. Right, first 
I need my camera bag. So. Oh, I've made it back to the tree and it looks so amazing. There's some fog over there in the distance and you can just see the, the peaks coming through. It looks like it's going to be an amazing sunset and actually we've just seen a shooting star which just looks so incredible. But the idea is that um, I shot this with the sunset. Uh, I, 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 sh I showed the picture just before and um, I felt that it'd be better if it was lit, side lit by, by the sun. And hopefully, if this mist doesn't come too high, fingers crossed, then we're going to get some side light on here and it's just going to look epic, basically. So I'm going to do a composition in this direction with the tree and the mountain behind, and then I'll probably do another one in this direction. The, ad the advantage of shooting this way is I get side light on the tree, so that you can see the texture a little bit more of the tree, and it gives it a little bit more of a 3D form. If I shot in that direction, then you're going to get shadows on the, um, on, on, on the tree, which might not work quite as well. So that's the idea. There's even clouds in the sky. It's going to look epic. Just shoot, Nigel. just risen and it looks phenomenal. I'm actually speechless. The cloud coming over here was just amazing before and the tree is catching the light, um, the, the, the clouds are reflecting the light. We're probably about 15, 20 minutes before sunrise and I've, I've had to, I've got it on about 14 millimeters. I'm shooting quite wide to get the cloud in and I've had to do two exposures, one for the cloud and the cloud inversion and another one for the tree that's catching the light. I think it'd be fairly easy to blend that together afterwards. Oh, this is just so, so amazing. And it's just a, a case of making sure that um, I've, I've just taken care with the tree again, where the limbs of the tree are. I'm hoping we'll get a little bit more fog when the sun comes up, but as the sun comes up and it starts shining on the tops of the mountains and catching the cloud, this is going to be epic. Wow. It's a little bit later than planned, but the sun's come out now, probably around about half an hour, 45 minutes after sunrise and it's just catching the side of this wet tree now. So it, it's not dry like when I shot at sunset and it looks very different, but it's actually really nice. It's catching the light so nicely. And then the layers are just being revealed in the background and they just look so beautiful as the just fog is coming through. But just to put the cherry on top of the icing on top of the cake, a little bird just sat on the tree and it looked Unbelievable. Hopefully I got the shot. Ah, <sighs> doesn't get better than this. Wow. So, as you can see there, it, I had such an incredible um, sunrise and sunset and yeah it was it was so phenomenal now I, I, I want to talk a little bit more about that and show you a print but if you've liked this video please 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 give it a thumbs up it makes such a big difference to my channel and to the you know um, possibilities of this video being seen by other people so if you have liked it give it a thumbs up and comment below and if you're not subscribed then please consider subscribing so yeah, I, I went back for the, for the sunrise. It was actually the final morning because I, the, it was the only morning where the conditions were just right. So it was the final morning before I came back and it was so incredible. 
the, the sunrise that I got and I feel that those were the best photos. I like the sunset photo. I think it was a really good photo. I probably would have been really happy with that, but there was something just super special about those sunrise shots. And this was probably my favorite one. This one, um, which was just before the sun rose. So I was just getting the, the reflection, the, the sort of golden glow on, on the actual tree here. And this was by far my, fa my favorite shot. And I am really, really pleased with this. It's gonna go on my website as a portfolio image. And I've also actually put together a little bit of a blog with some of my other images from this location, because there were so many photos that I took that I couldn't share in, in this um, video. So I'll put the link in the description below and you can go and ch check, check those out. But, you know, it was, just to go back on, on going to locations multiple times, you know, I went at sunset and, you know, I got a feel for the location. I found the dead trees. I found a tree that I really liked. Um, I experimented with a few things. It allowed me to go back and check my images, check what worked, check what didn't work. So when I went for sunrise, and sunrise is often a difficult time if you haven't been to a location before because you go in there in the dark, you don't really know what you, where you're going, I could go straight to this tree. I knew exactly where to put my tripod to get the composition that I wanted. And it made such a big difference to get in this because you know, there was only probably a 15 minute period where the conditions were perfect and I could get this shot. So that was really, really good. So definitely consider that if you're going to a location, just try and find one or two spots that you think are gonna be really phenomenal and plan on going back to those a number of times. Maybe you go in the middle of the day to scout it, then you go for sunrise or sunset. So next week, I got um, some coast photography that I'm gonna share some, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about how to get the best out of shooting seascapes, um, especially waves and the motion of waves. So that'll be, that'll be really exciting. It's something that I don't do very often, um, but I feel like I've, I've got some really good shots to share with you and some good tips as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I say, give it a thumbs up and until next Sunday, bye.